All right, so here we go. On this episode of What I Bought This Week, we have, oh, it's beautiful actually. This is the Canon AE-1 and it comes with a lens. So, the Canon AE-1, this thing is actually one of the first cameras uh, that 35 millimeter film um, became popular with. So, let me rephrase that. Back when uh, the 70s were around, there was Minolta, there was Pentax, there was Nikon, there was Canon, there, all these camera companies were around. But the one camera company that made people really get into shooting uh, film and, and, and just shooting pictures on cameras uh, was uh, Canon. And Canon did it with this one, with the AE-1. And this is actually, uh, this is not the exact one, but this is uh, what I learned to shoot on uh, back in the day. Uh, I had an old one that uh, my mom used to have and it has a detachable lens, so that's kind of cool. It actually uses this lens system called the FD system and I'm gonna get into that in a quick second. But anyway, uh, I finally went back. I, I got rid of the old one a long time ago because it broke. I actually went and found this one on eBay. It's awesome because it's about 150 bucks and uh, there's a guy that I found called Joe who repairs AE1s in particular. So even if you find like one that's all messed up on eBay that's super cheap, you can pick it up, you can send it to Joe and Joe will repair it for you. I'm not making any money off of this from Joe but uh, he did it for me on this. This, this one had some issues in it. Uh, it wasn't really working. He got it working. So why did I buy it? Well. I have a lot of digital cameras and video cameras and we have like iPhones and things like that nowadays, but sometimes you want to go manual. Sometimes you want to just get stuff on film. There is something sort of eclectic and interesting and unique and artistic uh, and film actually, people don't realize this, but film has come a long way from when we used to always use film. So people stopped using film for the most part, uh, at least when it comes to cameras. Uh, probably around like 10, 12, 15 years ago, somewhere in that period of time, people started moving over really to digital stuff. But along the way, film actually continued to get better, meaning that the people that were making the film that goes in these cameras, they continued to improve the film. So the film that we have now is actually better looking than the film we had like 10, 12 years ago. And as a result, if you shoot on one of these old film cameras with film, you can actually get some really, really cool photographs. They're not gonna be crappy. They're not gonna be like these out of focus things that you don't wanna look at. They'll actually have a very cool artistic quality to them. And that's the reason why I got one of these is because it was super cheap. I can shoot on the new films that are available nowadays. And there's so many places online, offline that will process your film, turn them into digital photographs. One of the biggest things about film actually that a lot of people don't know is that it doesn't do this thing called a uh, highlight cutoff. Uh, it, it handles highlight roll off real well. So if you're not into cameras and camera speak, I'm gonna explain it very, very quickly. Basically, uh, a camera, uh, whether it's digital or whether it's film, can only capture so much between uh, brightness and darkness. There's only so many levels or stops of light. And what happens is when things get too bright, they get what's called blown out. And that means that uh, they just turn into this like color of like bright white or, or even a yellowish tinge. Well, what happens with real film is you get this really cool what they call highlight roll off. And that means that as things approach that pure bright white color, you actually get a lot of information in between. And so you get this really interesting look. So, uh, so there's so many high-end cameras, digital cameras that try to recreate that really nice highlight roll off but uh, film has its own look and so it's really cool and, and you tend to appreciate it. When you shoot a picture with film, you tend to compose, you tend to take your time and sometimes that's nice to do. I'm not saying I love to do it all the time, but it's cool, it's an awesome hobby, it's a great way to learn photography from the basics because it forces you to do things manually uh, and I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, I decided that I was gonna get back into film again and the AE-1 is the way to go. It's, it's got so many spare parts all over the place, super cheap to buy, and you got people like Joe who will repair them for really, really cheap, bring them to like new condition. This is the thing to get. If you want to go vintage, you want to try something new, you don't want to do a Polaroid, you want something a little bit better, you want to actually adjust some of the shots, and oh, 
the FD lens, as I said I was gonna talk about. This lens system, the FD lens, was the one that came out uh, one generation before the Canon current lens system, which is the EF. And the FD lens, you can buy all these lenses, interchange them. You can buy all these off of eBay. They're so cheap, they're so cool, so you can get all sorts of different effects using different lenses that you can buy that are really, really affordable. So cool way to get into photography as a hobby uh, if you don't wanna go digital and you wanna just have something unique or different, or if you're just looking for something different. So that's what I bought this week. Check us out on the next video.